posing for the camera. All right, folks, so it seems that EDP has made his inevitable return to YouTube, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take for YouTube to ban him, because he's now been posting videos on his channel for just over a week now, and it doesn't seem that YouTube really cares, or maybe they're just being a little slow on his banning. Not sure. Maybe it's because they got their hands tied with the whole Mr. Beast situation that's been going on, which I will make some videos on that sooner or later. But today I wanted to start a new series on this channel where basically we talk about each EDP video until he gets banned. So every video that he uploads to his channel, we will be talking about, reacting to, making fun of, and basically just picking apart each video he makes until he gets banned. Now today's video is his second video that was posted on his channel, and basically it's him going on this weird incel rant about how women suck and something about women like destroying men's confidence or something basically to put it simply edp is in his incel arc right now you know edp hasn't been the same since that one day at the dialysis center you know now edp he's taken the black pill he's never going back he is now full 110 percent incel now before we do get into the video cheap plug but make sure to join the discord server and also check out w energy link in description use code rinse at checkout to get 10 percent off on all orders and without further ado let's get into the video Man, I swear to God, bro, <laughs> you gotta love these motherfucking broads, these motherfucking hoes, these bitches, whatever you wanna call them, um, these 304s, and the way that they think, the way that they go about deciphering shit, you know what I mean? How they love to manipulate your motherfucking ass, you feel me? How they take no motherfucking accountability for their actions, what the all right, we're off to a bit of a crazy start already. First of all, what is with this man and dropping tense swear words every five seconds? Like, look, I swear a lot too, but like, come on, man. Like, you got to tone it back, bro. We're on YouTube. Got to give me a break here. Like, I just sat for the last four minutes editing out all your swear words within that 26 second clip. And I know that this man is not talking about women not being able to take accountability. I just know that this dude is not talking about somebody else, another existing human being not taking accountability. You remember what I said in my last video about hypocrisy being in fashion this year? Yeah, this is no exception. And for all you little punk ass motherfuckers who are gonna leave little smart ass fucking comments up in the comment section for me saying, you know, taking accountability for your action, you know who, who the fuck you are. Um, suck my fucking balls, my nigga, and lick where I fucking shit. Get on your knees, my and start taking this goddamn three inch in your fucking mouth. You feel me? Probably smaller than that, but who knows? <clears throat> um. Well then, uh, that was. <laughs> That was something. This man is such a predator that not even people sitting at home watching his video are safe from him. Like, that was mad unnecessary. Like, like, like the video could have just went on without that entire segment. Like, what was even the point of that? I don't know, man. I guess creeps will be creeps. But, um, I want to tell you guys um, a little story about this chick who I dated for a while. Then we were, you know, on some cool ass friends, whatever the you want to call it shit, you know what I mean? Take no motherfucking accountability for her fucking name. And, and I, and, you know, I ain't going to mention her fucking name. Take no accountability for her motherfucking actions, you feel me? Um, very fucking flirtatious, attention-seeking as fuck, you know what I mean? Oh my God, Brian, does this bra make my tits look big? Do these pants make my ass look big? She's all checking herself out up in the mirror and shit, right? And so, I called her out on her bullshit right after she called me out on my bullshit you know what i mean saying i'm very pessimistic um i'm very negative i have no fucking confidence when it comes to talking to women and what's fucking crazy is that half these fucking broads out here who like to sit back and preach about men have no confidence and shit, bitch, you're the reason why they have no fucking confidence you feel me you're the reason why their mother self-esteem is so fucking low and you're the reason why you know um, they're very pessimistic about about how to a fucking about how to approach a goddamn girl, but it's okay because nobody wants to fucking talk about that shit, right? You know what? Sure, yeah, let's talk about it. You are literally just blaming your own insecurities on women. 
That's it. There you go. Sherlock cracked the case for you. Like, no, 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 no. In all seriousness, this dude has the nerve to sit here and talk about how women are the reason he's negative and he's pessimistic and he's insecure when he literally did all that to himself. He went and chose to ruin his life. He went and chose to, you know, go ruin his reputation trying to meet up with a cupcake. And, you know, he literally just got done two minutes ago ranting about his three inch, you know what, you know, try not to get age restricted here. But you guys know what I'm talking about. But like, if anybody's to blame for this guy's low self-esteem and his terrible life it's him you know he had the fame he had the money everybody loved him and he decided you know what he's gonna throw it all away to try and meet a cupcake so i'm not sure why he's blaming this girl which by the way i bet money that she was probably under the age of 18 i don't know why he's blaming this girl for all his issues you feel me women are just a little perfect feel me as a guy my feelings your feelings you feel me it's all about the girls and what the f they say go oh my god that's pussy rules the world right so caught her out on her and um she blocked my ass <laughs> okay so you can call me out on my sh but the moment i call you out on your sh it's a big Problem. You know, just judging based off this really weird incel rant that EDP has just been going on about for the past, like, two minutes, I could almost guarantee that the conversation did not go down how EDP is saying it did. Like, he probably inserted some generic, like, incel talking points out of nowhere, just as, like, you know, all you women are the same, you know, all women just like to play with men's feelings, you know, real incel type stuff, you know, like how EDP is. It was either that or she found out who EDP 445 was and then realized, oh, well, I don't want to be associated with this weird so let me block him. Either way, she made the right decision blocking ADP. I remember, I'll give you guys an example, right, on how she was subsequently cheating upon my ass and swore up and down nothing was happening. And I remember this day because it was on Christmas Eve, it was raining like and it was just a shitty day to be out, right? And so I go on Facebook, I had as a friend on Facebook, I go on Facebook and, um, Mind you, we're supposed to be dating. We're supposed to be together and stuff. We sent each other little cute ass gifts. I sent her flowers and uh, whatever the f she sent me. Like, like a little, uh, what, what do you call that? Sh like a Yeti thermal and all that, sh right? You know, a little cute ass gifts back and forth and whatever. And you know how on Facebook you can check like your stories or like your reels or whatever, the f right? It usually has like a little circle going around it up at the top of the page. This fucking chick, right? We're supposed to be dating. This fucking chick posted a picture, right? Red sweater, ponytail, makeup all done and shit, right? Wearing some tights, sticking her ass out, posing for the camera, text me, I'm bored, and had her number down there. Now, what kind of f***ing relationship is that? Motherfucker, either you're a simp, a blind-ass motherfucker, or, <laughs> man, you just a sad-ass n***a, you feel me? Guys, look, it's like 3 in the morning right now as I'm recording this. I am way too tired to be dealing with this tomfoolery. How in the hell... Is EDP 445 gonna call somebody else sad? I'm trying to wrap my head around- I've been sitting here for the past five minutes trying to wrap my head around what I just watched. Because I'm really just- it's not adding up for me. Does this guy have like no self-awareness? No, he does have self-awareness because he addressed earlier uh, that people were gonna make comments about him taking accountability. So clearly, he knows what he did. I just don't think this guy has the mental comprehension to realize, oh sh**, I look like a dumbass. Caught her out on her bullshit. Oh my God, I don't know why you're acting like that and blah, blah, blah. Fine, I'll delete it if you want me to. Bitch, I shouldn't have to come at you like this, my nigga. And fucking, you know, get on your ass about deleting a disrespectful ass picture. You feel me? You know what, fuck you, bitch, leave the fucking shit up. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? At this fucking point, it's clear as day that you don't fuck respect my ass yeah i don't think anyone in their right mind would respect you also pro tip maybe not constantly refer to women as bitches and they probably will treat you better then on top of that i followed her on snapchat and she f mm. oh she posted a picture um 
of a hickey. A hickey, my Hickey. Hickey. On her neck, right? Looked like somebody sucked on that bitch and was fucking like, why like fucking, uh, you know, you know, I mean, I just wiped my ass and ain't even wash my hands. Ugh, God damn. What? Why are you like this? Why, why? Why? No, just why? Just like, why do you just gotta be like such a disgusting slob? Like, why? What? What? Like, why can't you just have some sort of presentational standards? Okay, nobody wants to hear about the last time you wiped your ass. Okay, nobody wants to think about that. Nobody wants to image that. Like, can you please just not be disgusting and gross for five seconds? Ugh. Anyways, um. <clears throat> Anyways, um, posted a picture of a hickey, right? Talking about, oh my God, this is, oh my God, this burns so fucking much. Caught her out up on her shit. What the fuck is this? Like, come the fuck on. You don't see me posting no disrespectful shit. You don't see me going on Snapchat, sitting back saying, oh my God, ladies, look at my fucking big ass dick. What bad bitch want to come over here and swallow my load and shit? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck, you know? Her fucking excuse was you know how some microwaves are elevated right they kind of sit on like a platform this motherfucker told me she was boiling some noodles right and she had a fork in the bowl in the fucking bowl um the fork fell out of the bowl and burned her on the neck really my really I mean, yeah, that does seem kind of reasonable because she did say in her story, ah, this hurts so much, according to you. So I'm led to believe that, yeah, maybe a fork did fall and burn her on her neck. Because I don't think hickeys burn. Like, sure, they might be a little sore, but I don't think they get to the point of burning you. Like, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure hickeys at the most will just be like a little sore for a day. Not burning to where you're like, ah, this burns so much. All right, cool. Whatever you say. Um, thank God I did not use this chick in the documentary. Um, thank fucking the Lord, man, because I was really thinking about that shit, you know what I mean? And then you realize they were probably under the age of consent, so you decided against it. But, um, stay away from girls like this. Motherfuckers like this are for the fucking streets, you feel me? Um, they just ain't fucking worth it. Um, uh, very flirtatious, very attention-seeking, you know what I mean? Couldn't be bothered to give a fuck about your feelings, you know? Um, and it's f***ed up because I remember when I was driving home on the freeway, um, I hit her up at a rest stop and I was voicing to her my concerns, you feel me? Because in my world, in the way that I think, right, correct me, and you know, tell me what you guys think about this up in the comment section. Oh, say less. Say Drake, I hear you like I'm young. You better not have a go to sell black one. But in my world, um, if I had to rate myself up on a one up on a one to ten scale as far as looks probably a two more than likely a one i am not the most attractive on the planet so with that being said if a cute ass girl was to come up to me and try to get my number and try to talk to me either one it's a setup where the camera's at you feel me two i ain't got no motherfucking money i'm broke as fuck. don't ask me for shit. you feel me and three I don't know what the f three is, but you guys get my point. It's yeah, we get it. You're a loser. It's like what? It's like why the f are you here, my? F like, I'm sorry, but how's it go? You're not in my league. I'm not in your league. You know, basically, basically, what I'm trying to say is the is too cute for my ass. You feel me? Here I am, this ugly ass before. Oh, EDP, we got nigga. It ain't got shit to do. it ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with not having confidence, my nigga. I know I'm not the most attractive ass dick. You feel me? So when a cute ass girl comes up to me, why are you here, my nigga? I should be dating ugly fucking bitches or below average to average ass girls. Why are you approaching me, my nigga? It gotta be a setup, motherfucker. It got it got it gotta be on some weirdo shit. You feel me? Nigga? It has to. You feel me? Or they're probably fucking, you know, trying to date your ass to get information out of you which is almost like a setup as, as you will but it's like you know what i mean there's some weird shit 
going on here you feel me you know all of that could have been avoided if you just made the right life choices you know guys look maybe it's because i've been putting together this video for like the past two three days and it's mostly been just most of the time spent just me censoring edp but like am i the only one who's just getting really tired of hearing edp's whining like i don't know maybe it's gonna play out differently when i like upload the video and i rewatch it but it's just like this guy whines and complains about his life and himself so much which like hey i mean at least he's keeping it real he is a loser don't get me wrong but it's just so depressing to watch it's so sad to watch like it's not even like an empathetic type of sad either it's like a wow you really are a loser type sad and so i was voicing to her my concerns you know what i mean about all the past about all the past previous relationships i've been in oh my god i really like you oh uh, you know um, you know, you know, I'm not like those other girls and blah, blah, blah. And I want to be there to protect you. And, you know, I'm just, I just want to fucking be there for you. And I love you and all this sh I mean, if that isn't the perfect thumbnail, I don't know what is. Watch out, man. These broads. They don't give a f dude. Some shady ass n And when you call them out on their shit, they'll do whatever they can to pull some manipulative ass bullshit to make it seem like you're the one up in the wrong. F that sh Well, after three days of editing and mostly censoring EDP, we have finally made it to the end of the video. Now, if you guys have made it to the end of the video, make sure to comment the word cupcake in the comments down below. Also, make sure to like for the algorithm, you know, get the word out there that EDP is back on YouTube. And make sure to check out the Discord server, link in description. I always ping the server whenever I upload a video because YouTube notifications can be a little bit buggy sometimes. So if you always want to be notified whenever I upload a video or go live, then make sure to join the Discord server, link in description. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm out. Peace.